Airtable just dropped a game-changing feature called Portals that lets you share interfaces directly with external users. So is this the end of no-code portal builders like Softer, Stacker and Glide? Stick around. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated. On this channel, we are helping you to automate your business workflows. If you are new here, consider subscribing to get the latest updates on the latest tools, or even joining our channel to get a wide range of membership-only perks. See more about the perks on the channel homepage. From the moment Airtable came about, there was a need to share the data from Airtable with external users. So very often this could be done to some extent with the share views, but at some stage, people started building portals using, for example, Webflow and integration with Zapier. But then the whole category of tools came about, such as Stacker and Softer, that allows you to build a customized portals directly tapping into Airtable data. Some other tools in this category are, for example, Glide, which added support for Airtable as data sync, or some of the newer comers on the scene, like, for example, NoLoco or JetAdmin. All those services would allow you to create pages and layouts that would utilize data from your Airtable tables. Airtable obviously got a wind of that, and they started building up their own interfaces, which were a more practical portal-like way of presenting data. There was also a way how you could invite free read-only users to create a sort of makeshift interface where people would log into Airtable, but they would have a view only access to that specific interface. The opportunity to invite external users was in a plain sight. As you can see with this announcement, Airtable is allowing now to invite external users and offer them a dedicated login portal. As you will see, there will be a custom signing page for the guests when they can log in with a dedicated password. And you are also able to control what they can see in a similar way as it was done on the interfaces by limiting view of certain elements only to a specific user. Airtable also mentions that they will be offering a white label experience, which will likely mean a custom domain on your company domain. Now let's take a look how sharing the access to the portal looks like. Once you go to Airtable interface and click on the share button, you will notice that within the share menu right now, you have a new tab, which is called invite guest users. Within there, you need to enable guest user access. And from now on, you're able to invite external users to the interfaces that you select. Note that to be able to enable the guest user feature, you need to pay for this first inside the billing page. So right now here, you can invite people by email and give them the permission that they would need in your portal. Once you do that, you can also preview the signing page. So this is the signing page that your guest will receive. And you will see that this still says Airtable, but it provides more of a personalized look. And you can see that here on this demo, they're showing how you, this could look on a custom, custom domain for the company. Once people are inside of the interface, this inside of the portal, this really does not look too different from your typical Airtable interface, but with the limitations that the features like viewing the data or sharing the interfaces are not enabled here. So this is much cleaner, sleeker look of your typical Airtable interface, which is only intended for external users. To enable the portals for your basis to get the access to this beta feature, if you are on the Teams plan, which is the lower limit plan, you can basically go to the checkout page and enable this. If you are a business or enterprise customer, you need to click on the private beta form to fill out information about you and your specific use case. Now, the question will be, what is the pricing? So if we look at the pricing, the portals add-on, which you can add inside of the checkout page, you can basically enable it here. The portal add-on, it starts basically at $120, which provides you 15 guest users and one portal. Each additional user is charged $8 per month. If you would like to have more portals, then you can buy higher plans. And you can see here 25 billable users for two portals, for five portals, 10 portals, 50 portals, 500 users. So you can see the pricing tiers over here. So this is monthly cost 
on top of your current subscription. So is this solution the end of Airtable portal builders? I would say definitely not. While Airtable portals is a very sleek solution that you could use to easily share some of your existing interfaces with external customers, the use cases are still fairly limited. And the main limitation here would be from my point of view, the number of users, even if we look at the highest tier, not only we are looking at, let's say, maximum of 500 users, but then this also comes with a very hefty price tag. Apart from number of users, dedicated portal builders offer much more flexibility in terms of the design, what you can do in terms of the pages, the layouts, also the ability to have uh, marketing pages that are not directly linked to your data, and also being able to have those pages optimized for SEO. So if you're planning to have something that is directed a little bit more towards the open internet, this will be very important to be able to optimize the SEO. By now, the companies like Software, they have evolved from being a general add-on on top of Airtable, and they offer many, many more features, especially what is important for some of the projects that we have been working on, ability to integrate with multiple data sources. You might be having a lot of information inside of Airtable, but you might also want to pull in some of the marketing pages from Notion. And this is a very strong element that was recently added to, to software. So you would be able to use Notion as a data source, but also if you are dealing with really sizable data and um, number of records that cannot be handled by Airtable, you are also able to connect to bases like, for example, Superbase or even use any of the custom REST API. So, so I would say the era when we were talking only about purely Airtable builders is over. Right now, all those companies have evolved into much more sophisticated software systems. So definitely, we with Airtable portals, there will be more competition, but I think that makes it only better for all of us users. So, so that's everything. And I hope this was useful for you guys and good luck automating your business. Yeah.